All right, so the last item that we're going to identify, the last type of infrastructure, are going to be structures. One of the neater layers that MassGIS prov provides is a layer of structures for every city and town in the state of Massachusetts. And the structures layer is created from LIDAR data that was that allowed um, uh, using low-flying aircraft to identify very detailed information of, about elevation of the land surface, including structures on the land surface. And from that was composed this um, structures layer. And so I'm going to, I've already clipped that to the, um, I'm going to leave the color alone, to the community of Marblehead. And what you can see here are actual individual polygons of individual structures all across the town. And I'm going to zoom in here just a little bit closer so you can see the level of detail. And so this is uh, pretty detailed stuff. And what it allows us to do is identify physical structures that fall within the flood zone. Now here you can see that in some cases the f structures are cut in half or only portions of the polygon are in, are fall within the flood zone. But I think here this is a situation where the detail or the resolution of data doesn't really warrant um, computing fractional parts of buildings that are fall within the flood zone. So I think it's fairly safe in this particular scenario to just identify the structures that intersect with those flood polygons. So in this case we're actually going to just use the select by location function to identify those structures, those polygons that intersect with the flood area. So here we're looking for the, not the roads, but the Marblehead structures that intersect the flood polygons. And we can see those highlighted right there. And if we wanted to retain those structures that were identified, we of course want to export this layer, just the selected features, to our geodatabase. So we'll call it structure 16 foot. So again, we know what it is. And so that layer now is added and we just have the structures that fall within the flood polygon and from this data the attribute table we can count how many structures 324 that fall within that flood zone. Uh, nice thing is we can actually even get the square footage of those structures to figure out how much total square footage are in there. So uh, fairly detailed data that we can look at to identify the various forms of infrastructure that are affected as well as understanding the statistics about that uh, impact in terms of totals as well as proportions or percentages. One last thing that we can do in our assessment of infrastructure at risk is to look at the dollar value of the property and real estate uh, that is at risk from flooding. And MassGIS provides a very interesting uh, layer called uh, parcel data or tax parcel. And tax parcels are essentially uh, the legal boundaries of properties and they're used for not only assessing or uh, assessing who owns what, but also for tax purposes, um, identifying the value of those properties. And if you look at that layer closely, it looks uh, a lot more detailed than, say, the land use. And in fact, it follows, in a lot of ways, the um, the individual structures that we looked at earlier. The really powerful thing about this layer, though, is that in the attributes for it, uh, we have a lot of identifying information for individual parcels, including valuations for the building values on those properties as well as the land value and of course the total value for the, both the property and the buildings uh, on a given parcel. So what we want to do here is we want to identify the parcels that are falling within the flood zone and then figure out what the total value is for those properties. So we're going to in this case use a simple select by location uh, we're not going to do the clip in this case because it would require us then to calculate the proportional value of each property. And you can do that, but we won't do that for that for this purposes. So I'm going to do a select by location, and I'm going to select from those um, tax parcels that intersect the 16-foot flood zone, and we can see them highlighted right there, and we can, of course, export this layer to get all the records that have been um, selected to a new layer that consists of the parcels that fall within the flood zone. But very quickly, what I wanted to show you was just simply the potential here. 
So if we go to the total value com column and we get the statistics, we find out that the value of land and buildings that are in the flood zone is over one billion dollars in Marblehead, which is, seems like a really large number. And I checked out their uh, annual budget for fiscal year 15, uh, which is about 80 million dollars. So the value of real estate that's at risk in this flood zone is about 12 and a half times their annual budget, which is a pretty significant and sobering statistic.